Hey guys, welcome back to another week on the Tropicana 7. I'm sorry if there's noises going around and the sun changes because it is actually setting at the moment. But this week on the Tropicana 7 we are talking all about patriotism and the 4th of July because the 4th of July is this week. So, 4th of July and patriotism. Obviously in Australia we don't celebrate 4th of July but we have very similar celebrations and I roll my eyes every time because we have a lot of very patriotic people a lot of them of the lower socioeconomic definition, if you will. And a lot of people that I have found to be patriotic, or a lot of patriotic people that I have found, happen to be too into it. And I've noticed, for me personally, I disagree with patriotism, patriotism altogether. Because, okay, it's great to love where you live. I love the beauty that surrounds me. But I don't love Australia, because Australia has very many flaws. At the moment, our government is absolutely ridiculous. You know, like, there's just... I, I don't have a pride and a strength in my country, because your patriotism isn't based on where you live. It's based on the type of person you are when you're living there. So, if I was born in China or India or Afghanistan or America or New Zealand, doesn't matter. I would not be patriotic regardless. And a lot of people come to me and they ask, you know, why aren't you, pa why aren't you patriotic? Why don't you go live somewhere else? I'm like, I don't want to live over there, but if I was born there, I still wouldn't be patriotic. And you would still be patriotic if you were living there. It's the kind of emotive response you have to where you live that makes you patriotic, not the place that you live in. And I can imagine that the exact same thing would happen over in those countries where people who are unpatriotic get into a conversation with someone who is and get the same question asked. Why don't you go live somewhere like Australia? <laughs> I may not want to live there, but doesn't mean that I, if I was born there that I wouldn't be any more or less patriotic. That is my main explanation for why I'm not patriotic. I wouldn't be patriotic regardless of where I lived. I'm proud of my heritage. I'm proud of... I can't even say that I'm proud of being an Australian and living in Australia. I'm proud of being a Swedish Australian because that's kind of cool. But of course, Sweden has its flaws too. And if I went and lived there, I wouldn't be patriotic to Sweden either. Hope that's not too confusing. And the reasons why I dislike patriotism. This, a lot of people will disagree with. But if we didn't have patriotism, chances are we wouldn't have wars. How many people go to war for any reason other than being encouraged to? to protect their country, or because it's a family value that they have. All three of those I do not think are, are things that I could stand for. I do not stand for war at all, and I think that a lot of that is the fact that you need to be patriotic to kind of believe in it, to understand it. And as far as I'm concerned, war is just... <laughs> um, war is just governments being hateful and greedy and deceitful to their people and picking on smaller countries. Like, when have you ever seen Australia and America get into a fight with each other? Or, I mean, I know it's hard because they're in allies with each other, but you never see countries of similar size going up against each other. I don't know. It's hard for me to explain. It's hard for me to actually portray this in person or in words. So the basic thing that I want to say with war is that you wouldn't go to war unless you were patriotic. And I think patriotic is, yes, to an extent, I think that you're born as a person who is patriotic, but patriotism could be used for much better things. I think being a doctor or a nurse or a teacher or a, I'm not going to say police officer because I don't like police officers either. I don't know, I think if you take a moment to look at the war in the Middle East that we're fighting. It doesn't make sense. Why are we over there? It doesn't really seem like we're doing any good because it's lasted so damn long. Why might we be there? I guess to an extent I'm a conspiracy theorist and I don't want to believe the things that I'm told, which is a good trait to have to an extent, I guess. I am totally unpatriotic. I am not going to stand here and say I hate my country, but I'm going to say that not a single country on this planet has gotten it right. You can't go anywhere and live freely. So what's the point in standing up for a country where there are still things that go very wrong? Very wrong. Very, very, very wrong. So that's my little rant on patriotism. But for those of you who are in America, happy 4th of July, I guess. Throw a firework at a police officer for me. <laughs> the other thing that I really dislike is that patriotism or non-patriotic traits are considered terrorism in some countries like there are some countries that really take patriotism very seriously and pride in your nation and pride in your people 
And I think that that's a really unfortunate thing to have happen to anyone. And those are all my reasons why anarchy. No. <laughs> um, yeah, so happy 4th of July and you guys will see me next week, which is something else, I think. I can't remember. <laughs> but yeah, okay guys, bye!